What is up, Cream Nation? We're back with you guessed it. the Dark Eye Demonica. Those are flagged up. Iggy, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your love just hits as a weenie. I want beer. I want some beer. I want beer. I want some beer. Into this bitchin' game. I wanted to pay, play Lichtum Battle Mage, but. Where the fuck am I? But it won't affect me. Oh yeah, look at me and my scimitar. Ah! Come here, you fucker! Come here, you lizard fuck. All of you, I'll take you all on. Holy shit! Fire breathers!
poopy. I can't read the law. Now I can read the law. Okay, yes, yeah, not that way.
Right. I follow the holy. Have the twelve gods ever helped you, stranger? Do you think good? You want to do something? All done. Genla is and always will be a deal. The wood arrived just in time, I'd say. Praise parade. Arrive just in time, I'd say. Praise parade, stranger. Genla? Have you found the poisonous eggs? Here are the poisonous eggs. Believe me, 
This way you have saved many, many souls. Take this. A little help for your further travels. You also acted wisely, and I am not stingy. Here, for your silence. You have proved that you care about the souls of others. I trust you. If you are still looking for these women, I can help you. To be precise, you can help yourself. You and many other poor lost souls. Plants or animals this time? In the swamp lurks an evil plant of great beauty. It attracts all that lives and imprisons their souls. If you defeat this plant and bring me its bulb, I can give these souls peace. Perhaps the soul of one of those two women as well. The Irabar lily. I've heard that it can eat men whole. Not exactly. The Irabar lily is a plant of Amaziroth, the polymorphic blender amongst the archdemons. Its beauty clouds the spirit, and its pollen sedates. The pollen sends grisly visions with which the archdemon seduces people. And those not strong enough to withstand the visions remain forever imprisoned in the lily's roots. The lily craves for magic creatures in particular. It is said that its tentacles suck their magic powers dry. What makes you think that the lily has also caught the girl? She was there, she and the elf. When they returned, the girl was different somehow. Different? She ran around as if possessed and kept calling the name Chiron. The elf spoke of great knowledge, but I felt that something evil had nestled in the girl. Is this girl very close to you? We love each other. I understand. I'll look for the lily. I thank you. With this bulb... was a blessing. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. There's a herb for every misfortune. And I have Welcome back. Were you able to help Genla? 
It was easy. She just wanted to cook some soup for the Chosen. Ah, oh, very good. That will help relax the situation. Maybe this time she will not try to disturb the ceremony. Well, now you. Were you it oh, very good. Genla is and always will be. Uh, Have the twelve gods ever helped you, stranger? I want to you think go good work just appears out of nowhere?
holy man has the answer. Fernfield, heavily laden with the responsibility for the souls he had snatched from the lily. Befuddled by the pollen, he could not think straight, let alone find an explanation for the vision the demonic plant had given him. Defeat himself to win Calandra back. Did this simple message really point in the right direction? Did its very seductive simplicity disguise the demon lily's perfidious intent? Or could the vision even hold the answer to the mystery surrounding his gift and the mysterious awakened? If Chiron wanted answers, he would have to find the saint. That was the only way to find out what Azaril planned. The only way he could save Calandra. Olav trusts you, I trust you too. The suit was a blessing. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. You look exhausted, Chiron. Here's the bulb. By Perrain! Thank you, Chiron. I was worried that these poor souls were lost forever. You've proved yourself worthy of my trust. And if you're willing to trust me, we can save the poor misguided Fernfielders. But let's not rush things. I assume you still have questions. So tell me, how will you win back the Fernfielders? I rebuilt the old shrine with the wood you gave me. Once it is consecrated again, I'll be able to convince the Fernfielders that the gods have not forgotten them. And you believe that Perrain's liturgy can heal them? Didn't that fail you once before? The need has become even greater. When should the goddess show some understanding if not now? There are many souls at stake. So many have fallen ill in recent days. It cannot be long before Gamat holds his next ceremony. But if my congregation is large enough by then, we can strike. We can win, Chiron. We only need a few more. A revolt against Gamad? And I'm supposed to be your attack dog? It's up to you whether you want to fight it yourself. Now, all I ask is that you help us with the consecration of the shrine. As a protector and as a believer. And of course, not a word to Ulev. We meet at the Cripple Ash at Fex's Hour. Perrain is with us. We are already preparing everything. Do you want to join us right now? Just one moment, Gen.
this a herb. I heard you joined Genla's side. That's all. Fair. Now you've seen how holy now this Genla is. Listen, Everest Everest is the, the soup was a blessing. But Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. I assume. Whatever happened to the lizard eggs I gave you? Do you really want to kill the sick? I think it's better if they die quickly and can enter Boron's halls, than suffer a long time and have their souls sacrificed in Gamat's meaningless ceremony. In the end, there are many answers to the question of how best to help the sick. Mercy killings for the suffering. Streamer. I've seen members of the Order of Gentle Peace doing that in the big yeah. cities. Yes, the servants of the demigoddess Marbo. She is the gentle daughter of Boron, god of death. Without mercy, many die in bitterness and return as drowned corpses. The gases of the moor and the heat of their rage make them burst. You'd better keep at a distance from them. When I can do nothing more for the body, the soul is foremost. That is my answer to you and to my goddess. I have... My husband died when Gamat dragged him down... Ulef says that he and Gamut had no choice. You would have simply let them and the people from Warunk starve. You say Gamat had something evil in him and that you therefore could not tolerate him in Fernfield. The plague is his revenge on you. Why did Gamat survive the pit while Makra did not? I have not buried any dead in the pit since the demonic mutations began. I suspected that something evil lurked there. The evil that Gamat has in him protected him from... But Makra was a good man. That is why the pit killed him. Can you now tell me something about the two women who were here? I will examine this lily bulb carefully. If it has taken the girl's soul, you must find her body and drive out the demon that now dwells in it. That is, if the body is still alive. Then it takes a mighty ritual of the Twelve Gods to reunite body and soul. You have to hold to your faith and pray diligently to ensure that the two take no harm. If all goes well, her soul may be saved. There's even a chance that she will survive the whole thing sane, and that the scars will not disfigure her completely. And if they have simply moved on? Then they will have left traces that my congregation will surely find. While I was at the Lily, I had a vision. Can you help me understand it? 
You pay heed to a demonic plant's illusions and then ask me for help? You really must have burning questions on your mind. I'm listening. I saw my father and my sister. She called out for help. She said I should talk to Gamma because he had answers. Then I had to fight myself. Did you win? Yes. And after that, the Lily was defeated. Very enlightening. Do you want a simple or a detailed explanation? A detailed explanation. Every person you saw in your vision symbolizes not themselves, but a part of your personality. Your father could represent your conscience, your upbringing. My father was imprisoned. Which means that your thinking is stuck. You must free yourself from misconceptions, or you will constantly run up against walls. Go on. Go on. And my sister? She called out for help. She represents your feminine side. What feminine side? You see? You seem to repress it. I'm a man, through and through. You're more than just your body, Chiron. It's about female characteristics. Love, mercy, trust. In the goddess Perrain, for example, she too is female. Right. The fact that you fought yourself means that you have to make the right decision. Choose the good and stand by it firmly. Only then can you win. And what does it mean that my sister advised me to speak with Gannett? That has no meaning, just a coincidence. Right. A simple ex Your sister is in trouble, and since you cannot help at the moment, you blame yourself. That's it? That's it. We meet at the Cripple Ash at Fex's Hour. Parade. We are already preparing. Divine Perrain, the generous, the merciful. In the midst of evil do we sinners beseech your motherly blessing. Divine Perrain, we welcome Chiron in our midst. Examine his soul, that he might join us in praying for the blessing of this thy new shrine. Your soul is not yours alone. You... you sold it! I am no demon, Pactir. Genla, believe me. Whatever you are, Chiron, you've been touched by evil. Your aura poisons our prayer. I cannot allow you to stay here at the Goddess's shrine. Do I gotta fight? Why are you doing this, Genla? I feel your goodwill, Chiron, but you're too far removed from the goddess. It was the same with Gamut. Ever since Macra fell into the pit with him, great calamity has befallen us. I will not be delinquent again. That's why I now put your fate in the hands of the goddess. Let her judge you. What can I expect in... Once, the gorge led to the Alhanian ruins. Bodies which we buried in the pit sometimes washed up there. Today it is a place of pandemonium. If, in spite of everything, you can still earn the Goddess's grace, she will lead you safely to freedom. If not, then descend to join your own kind. Bitch!
Well, guys, if you like this episode, go ahead and leave a like, comment, follow, subscribe. Want to see more awesome cringy content? You know exactly what to do. Do exactly what I just said. Turn on your notifications, like, and engage with my social media. Start talking with everybody. Also, in the description below. Also, share around and engage with some of your favorite Twitch channel, YouTube channel uh, video content. I do your video content on both. As well as if you're a Twitcher or a YouTuber with the auto host, that's for Twitch. If you add me to that and I started streaming and you weren't streaming, your channel automatically broadcast my channel. Pretty cool, right? Both get exposure. Yeah, for YouTube, it's an auto feature channel. If you were to add me to that, I'd show up on your main page if someone clicks on it, either on the right or the left hand side, underneath your banner, depending on the layout. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. And if you happen to both Twitch and YouTube, you want to do both of you, boy? Oh my god, I would love you. Thank you so much. And I have no problem doing any of that back. Just ask. And as always, if you wish to make a donation to Cream TV, it's really easy to do. You can go to my Twitch page at Twitch TV, an overlay link, or you can use the full link in the description below. And if for some reason you do want to donate and you can't find the donate button on Twitch, has been weird or whatever, there's an alternate link for donations for Streamlabs in the description below. All amounts count. Any funds appropriate are greatly appreciated. All proceeds will go to better hardware, software, games and gaming, internet, and most importantly, a better viewing experience for you, the people at Twitch, YouTube, wherever else I post videos, wherever else these videos found their place. Of course, the level legionaries of the cream Rider and streamer squad. Now, if you guys are into coding, website development, scripting, any kind of that stuff, check out scriptingforum.com. If that's stuff that you're interested in, You'll find a lot of stuff there that'll pique your fancy. As always, part of the interruption, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, stay out of trouble, and most importantly, stay creamy and tune in for the next awesome guy like creamy goodness. Thank you.